How are we doing, Europe? <laughs> How are we going, everyone in Europe? Hello. Hello. Oh, what did I just press? <laughs> That's awkward. Hi, Europe. Hello. Howdy. Wait a second. There we go. <laughs> I just freaked myself out for a second there. I did it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Life's going great. How are y'all doing? <laughs> Good evening, everybody. Oh, Matthew Hans, you absolute legend. Thank you for becoming a member. Now Facebook one, what do you mean a Facebook one? Oh, you got a hair ad and a Facebook ad. Oh, okay, I see. I see. Yeah, welcome Frenches, welcome Viva. Vavia, I can never pronounce your name. I'm very sorry. Hey, Iona, how are you going? I got your letter, by the way. I read it and I put it in my pile for when I do my PO box video. It was really sweet. My mum cried. I let her read them too. Hey, superhero. Hey, Chris. Pot Emotion, 39. Cameron. Yahil. Oh, no. Quinn. Maria. Thomas. Clone. Hey, Noah. Hey, Peyton. I'm going all right. Predictions? We're going to go through all of them. Hey, Alice as well. Jenna, Ender Gaming, so many new faces as well as a few familiar ones. Hey, Super, I'm surprised you're not sleeping. Hey, Lucy, no problem, I understand. That's okay. Hey, Tom Riddle, Star, Darth Maul, <gasps> it's your last day of term two tomorrow. Oh, congrats. Hey, Dragon, Nugget, how is everyone going? The entire main mod team here. <laughs> True. What time's the announcement? It is in 45. Four minutes because <laughs> I was a bit late um so we're gonna go through every single project I'm gonna tell you my thoughts um I want to hear your thoughts I should probably put slow mode on because <laughs> there are the 176 people here let's uh oops that's not it oh it is on it's just at five seconds <laughs> maybe we'll make it eight seconds shall we <laughs> there we go I don't want to quite make it ten <laughs> there we go are you going to Lego Con? We're all going to Lego Con. I'm going to be in my pajamas yet again. I'm wearing my Disneyland spirit jersey right now. Check that out. Yeah. Um, we're all going to go to Lego Con together because I'm going to stream the entire event here. Those are some real classy pajamas. Thank you. They're from... Where are they from? <laughs> says it on the waistband. Hold on. Hollister. There we go. They're from Hollister. <laughs> Ow, what's my favorite logo set? Wanna go through it? I might not be able to go. Oh, we can watch it on catch up. <laughs> Is that the Gravity Falls set in the thumbnail? It's the figure. <laughs> we love your videos. Thank you, Potter Lego Lover. Alright. How's everyone going? Quickly, we'll do a little catch up before we go. Are you tired? Not at the moment. After my gaming stream, I kind of recovered a bit. I went and I had my soup for dinner. Um, I got my shower and then I watched three episodes of Superstore because I realized I never finished. So now I've only got the finale to go. Um, I made my little banners also while we're all here. You should all support my Lego, um, ideas project. Thank you. Link in the description. If you want Monsters Inc. to be a thing and like this, be in the product selection, you should go and support it, especially with the new Monsters at Works episode, um, coming out. Like... There's a full new Monsters, Inc. series. Monsters, Inc. hype. You should support it. Those aren't actually the figures in the project. I just realized I grabbed the wrong photo. That's fine. That's what it could look like. So go and please stop promoting. Excuse me, this is my own channel, Sebastian. I will promote as much as I want. Yes, I supported it. Thank you, Quinn. What is so great about Superstore? I just really liked it. I thought it was quite funny. Maybe they'll do a Monsters, Inc. theme. Please. Please. 404? What do you mean 404? Oh, the link doesn't work. Uh-oh. Hold on. Lego ideas. Monsters, Inc. Well, we're going to fix that, but that's bright. Oh, that's me. There we go. Support my project. Thanks. Also, to all my members, well, before we um, before we start, give me emo ideas. <laughs> we have seven spots f to fill, so I'd like to, I'd like to do that. There we go. 
Hopefully that works now. All right, should be in the description. It's also there, ready to go. Let's go through everything. My camera is blurry. I know, it's my webcam. I tried to fix the color. You also can't tell how bad my skin is because it's so blurry, which is great. Love that for me. I didn't bring out the good one. <laughs> Previously emote, that's for the gaming channel. I have watched Luca Robert and I really enjoyed it. Let's go. So 25 projects. There was 35 last time. So we're a bit under, not quite as big as the next one. Whew. Which set one? We will find out in 40 minutes. We need Micro Monsters Inc. as an emoji. That I could do. What's happening tonight? We are finding out what the next ideas project is. So let's go. We'll, we'll catch up and we'll talk about Loki and Luca once we've gone through the project. We're going to talk about all 25 of them first. First up is the Boeing 737 passenger plane. Okay. I quite like the airport range in city. I had the like blue passenger plane from like the early 2010s. I sold that last year. I quite liked that set. Um, to me, I agree, Lego Francis. I think it's a bit too plain for ideas. Like they ma literally made planes a few years ago in Lego City. And I feel like that's where it like kind of belongs, I find. Like that's where we're gonna keep it, keep the planes in Lego City. I really feel like it's not something that you'd probably do on a larger scale as much as I do like this model. And I love how you got the little stairs traveling up. I really like it, but I just feel like it's not the greatest kind of ideas set per mind. Like Lego ideas is about finding like unique ideas at the end of the day. And like they've done planes before. I do like the model. I just, I don't think it's going to win. I wouldn't buy it personally myself, but it's pretty cool. I think the difference is in the construction brick built plane instead of brick mold. That is true. Like look at the little nose of the plane. Like that looks pretty cool. I do have to say this set is too plain, pun not intended. Hey, pardon the pun. A little come fly with me reference as well. They wouldn't make it for ideas. That's what I thought. Nope, no chance. No, sadly not interested and yeah, not interested. It's funny because the consensus usually in our streams is always for things that are like, yeah, not interested. And then Lego picks them. So potentially. <laughs> I'm not not saying anything. Right, next up, Coliseum. Well, <laughs> we all know how that one went. Um, personally, actually, what is even the scale of this? Because, like, the actual Coliseum is, like, massive. This doesn't look massive to me. But just, yeah. I agree, Dennis. Like, there was no way that this was going to be selected. Like, the Coliseum literally got made and, like, revealed as soon as this, like, ideas thing ended which is another reason why I feel like they should go through like the week before they're going to reveal it and kind of do like a second round where they take out things like the Coliseum and like the police station which we'll look at in the future of things that already exist so that we can get rid of the stuff that like Lego is definitely gonna say no to which is the Coliseum, the police station, last time it was the bonsai tree and the Lego doggo. Like tell us the stuff that really has no chance so that we know what the actual selection was between. Just saying, just saying. I feel bad for that designer. So do I. It's like the poor guy is like getting let down. You didn't seem happy when we asked what the winner was. <laughs> Please don't let it be the plane. I'm not telling. Yeah, I feel bad for the creator. The poor, poor guy. Like he does, he deserves to know. I mean, imagine what he must have felt like when it like got revealed. I hope. Because like you get $500 like just buy on a set. I don't think that the Coliseum falls within that. But I hope that they give him the Coliseum. <laughs> Just saying. I hope that that happens. Next up, we have Mini Brick and Top Lego 8. Shout out to both of them. Yay. Big fans of them on this channel. Great work. Great artists. Great design here with the Mystery Shack. I personally have never seen Gravity Falls. I kind of skipped over that on Disney Channel. Not going to lie. Um, and look... I really like this model. I really do. I think it's very cute. I think they've both done an amazing job. To me, though, 
For me personally, I wouldn't buy this set besides the fact that it's made by Mini Brick and Top Lego White. Otherwise, I wouldn't really do it. Is it still relevant? That's what I'm kind of getting to, Patrick. I never watched this show, so I don't really have an attachment, so I can't speak on it too much about that. But I don't think it's necessarily relevant. It's not been around long enough either to kind of justify itself as kind of a, like, we've paid attention to this for a long time, the fan base is still there type of set. Just like things like Friends and Seinfeld and The Office and I even feel like Phineas and Ferb or like the Teletubbies, Thomas the Tank Engine, like it's not one of them. Like it's not one of kind of the icons that people still talk about so many years ago, at least in my opinion. I don't see many people talking about it. The most I've seen people talking about it is from the Ideas Project. It's a great show. That's what I've heard. Like I would ruin it with a redesign. Also think that too. The fandom for Gravity Falls is huge and still very active. Where are they active on though? Is it like Twitter or Tumblr? How do you become a member if you are on a computer? There's a little join button at the bottom. If not, the link hopefully works in the description. I hope one of the links works in the description. That would be nice. <laughs> what time is the stream reveal? It is in half an hour or just over half an hour. So I'm very excited. I have no idea, Viva. Viva? I'm sorry, I can never say your name right. I'm just going to call you Viva. Even though I'm pretty sure that's wrong. Don't bring up the Teletubbies. What's wrong on the Teletubbies? They're active on everything, are they? Reddit, Twitter, and many, many YouTube channels. YouTube channels, I can see. Twitter, I can see. Reddit, I guess it's only kind of in their subreddit. Because I haven't seen it on, like, the Disney subreddit or anything. How's the new room? I really like it. The ceiling is quite large. I also have a growing pile of stuff there. Alrighty, next up, same deal with the Colosseum. We have the police station. Now this build was very cute. It was a modular building. It was never going to get selected to begin with, and I feel sorry. Um, also with Gravity Falls, I feel like because of the fact I feel like it's not as cemented or spread across multiple generations, I unfortunately don't think this is going to get picked. Um, but I really like it, even though I have no attachment to it. Scrolling down, back to the police station. It's not gonna happen. It's, it's really not. I'm sorry. In half an hour, Patrick, I can't show you any earlier. Um, here's another thing. I don't know when this got uploaded. I don't know when it got kind of approved or anything. I don't know when it hit 10,000. All I know is that it seems oddly suspicious that there's a donut shop next to it. And it's a modular building. Like, I know that LEGO sets are designed years in advance. It would have been at least a year, maybe a year and a half. It's a bit odd. Anyone else? It also has a police car. I did like that. But yeah, this isn't happening. And I, once again, I feel sorry for the designer. So shout out to Bricked1980. This poor man. I, this poor person. <laughs> let's not assume their gender. Spent so much time creating this set. It looks beautiful. He's created beautiful artwork for it. And again, we have a police station modular. So if he hasn't bought that set, I hope that he redeems that with his um, reward credit from doing this and hitting 10,000. It got 10 pay before the official police stations. It's one of those coincidences. But what I want to know is like, when did it first get put on Lego ideas? Because like, take that and then take like January 2019. Like, was it before that or was it after that? Lego sent in the police station set. Exactly. Exactly. Did he Lego superhero? That's the highest honor, honestly. Every time. That's suspicious. That's weird. I know, Ali. I really wish they would take down modulars. Like, if you go here. I don't know if this is going to work. Hold on. If you go here. There. Where is it? Modular. It literally comes up as its own section. That's not good. <laughs> not good. Oops. We've got to scroll back down now. When's the review coming? At midnight, at not midnight, <laughs> on the hour, okay? All right, next up, we have Bag End. All right, here's my concept, everyone. There is this beautiful thing, right, called Lego Ideas. And adults welcome 18 plus. These two are the same thing these days. Every idea set is 18 plus. Now, may I introduce to you the idea of Bag End? Lord of the Rings is a very, very popular franchise and it has been for years. Hi, Lily, by the way, I saw you and forgot to say hi. 
bag end is beautiful. This build is beautiful. It takes my favorite Lord of the Rings Hobbit set and recreates it and makes it better by putting it on a book. That's one of my favorite things I did with Winnie the Pooh. I was like, I have my old Winnie the Pooh book. I want to put the set on a book and take a photo of it. I loved it. Photo was great. Designer loved it. Everyone was happy. Hey, Sai. And I love this. This is beautiful. This could start its own theme. And that's what I'm also thinking is because you had this and you had the middle Murph app, maybe we are going to get our own theme of this. This is very pretty. They've had the license before, but the only kind of hindrance is that there's no new content coming out. There's that Lord of the Rings show that's apparently being produced. I feel like they would do it then. But just imagine, right? Lord of the Rings comes back and it is a full on 18 plus line one like D to C a year starting off with bag ends then you get like the middle Murph app then you get the minds of Moria you get Helm's Deep you get all of them as like giant 18 plus D to C sets or even just 18 plus sets in general it would be so good it would make a lot of money because the problem with Lord of the Rings to begin with is they combined it with the Hobbit so it's like it was good because you had like new sets and you had old sets but People didn't really care for The Hobbit. People didn't really kind of go back to Lord of the Rings. If they gave this the Harry Potter treatment and brought back Lord of the Rings when they do this show, I reckon it would be like Harry Potter and pick back off again. It would be amazing. Amazing. Holly's repeating her idea from three hours ago. Shh, we're not saying that. Next up, we have the Red Dwarf. dwarf. The Red Dwarf Starbug Lego idea by Bob's Vintage Bricks. I don't know what this is. <laughs> I don't. It looks like a robotic bug. I really like the design of it. I think the build is very creative. I love how they've made the spheres. I love how they've made the legs. It looks very impressive. But I don't know what it is. It would be... I'd love to be a giant fly. Oh, yes, I would love a giant fly in my wall. Exactly, CC. Hello, how are you going? Bailey, I don't know what this is either. <laughs> This is ugly. Don't be mean, Potter Lego lover. Look at the technique on this model. This is, like, well done. Just saying. But, yeah, I, I don't see this getting picked. I don't really see the appeal of it. I think it's a very technical build. If this was something on Lego Masters, yeah, I can see it doing pretty well. But in terms of a Lego idea, um, I don't know. It's very, very well built, though. I will give them that. But I just don't know what it is. It kind of reminds me of Thunderbirds <laughs> at the same time. Does anyone know what it is? It's from a TV show, I think. Oh, okay. Red Dwarf. It was a niche British sci-fi show. Well, yeah, that's not happening. If it's a niche show, it's a British sitcom from the 80s. If they're going to do a British show, like, come on. Doctor Who, and it hit it. It got accepted. Even that didn't really sell well. And that's probably the most known internationally. Unless you did, like, a Sherlock um, show, or if Game of Thrones was somehow allowed, that stuff would pass. That would get done. I hate Thunderbirds. Well, rude. Did no one else remember that amazing Thunderbirds? <laughs> I say amazing very loosely. The Thunderbirds movie with Vanessa Hudgens in it. Amazing. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. They need to do Mr. Bean. Well, the Mini Cooper apparently isn't allowed. Next up, we have Avatar The Last Airbender. Yip, yip. Well, Mini Ninny Bricks last season didn't make it, so sorry to, to, to Studio T Rico, but I don't think this is happening either. I just don't think that Lego and Nickelodeon are on very good terms right now. I hate to say it, I just I don't think that that is. I watched the movie, you just unlock so many memories, you're welcome. Oh, I feel bad. Like, Lego Avatar is in lots of demand. Like, people want it. People actively want it. And just... It's not happening. I swear it's something to do with Nickelodeon. Like, the Krusty Krab, really. I think they've, like, had so many things. Like, they've had um, Spongebob and they had Avatar before. And all of these things kind of flopped. And it's just... Avatar does have their own studio now, do they actually? Like, there's so many Avatar reboots as well. But I feel like they just... They don't want to give it a shot and all the rights aren't happening. So, it's a cool set, though. I agree, Potter. I agree. True, maybe the exact same thing with SpongeBob. That's what I think. 
that's what I think too. I just, yeah, it's just, feel bad. That's true as well. The recent Avatar films sucked. So like, I don't think that's happening. Lego have their own, oh, they have their own studio with more shows and movies coming. Fair enough. Can Lego just have the customer in mind? I think they do, but I think the customer is um, a 40 plus year old consumer. All right, next up, we have the classic castle. This is very cool. This is really well done. And like castle, it's made a big comeback. We got it in creator. People love pirates and space and castle and all of that. So look, I can see demand for this 100%. Like I can see this getting picked because the demand is there. It's a beautiful model. The only hindrance I think is the blacksmith shop. Like it was very recent. And even then, I, I don't know. They would never do a random castle. I think they would do a random castle. Like they've done random blacksmith shops. Great mocks, but I don't know for a set. Yeah, I agree. It. I mean, not necessarily. I feel like it could be a very good set, but it would have to be very scaled down as well. Like it looks a bit too big. Similar to current sets, that is also true. It's like, look at how much like Barracuda Bay was like different from everyone else. And that's kind of the reason that it got also selected and everything. What are you doing up? We're waiting for the ideas results to be live, which happens in 24 minutes. It would be very pricey, I'd say. I mean, isn't ideas always pricey these days? The typewriter, the piano, everything is just hundreds and hundreds of dollars. I'm just, of course it would sell well, but I think we can count on another set from the Brinkling Designer Program. Well, here's the thing about that though, right? That is crowdfunded. I don't know about you, but I'm not really going to go and put my money towards crowdfunding a, a ideas project on Bricklink. I'm sorry. Like, I really like the designs, but I'd rather not. Personally, like, I would rather put my money towards buying an ideas set or something like that. But I'm glad that they are doing the project. I just can't see too many people putting their money behind this unless there is, like, Unless the castle fans go crazy. I think there's always a huge market for castles. A hundred percent. I know Gwen, it's insane. Hello to all 287 of you. Hello. <laughs> Not the Tron set. Okay, look. I want the Tron set. I haven't seen Tron, but I want that set. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. All right. Scrolling down, we have the open MRI. Um... Look, the concept, I see it. In terms of taking that concept and executing it into a build, again, I see it. But this set is just, it's, it's not going to sell. I, I'm shocked that it even got 10,000 supporters. Um, I see what they're trying to do. I really do. And like, I love that they've thought about like the features and everything like that and like having a magnet and making it able to move. But at the same time, what, just watch Tron already? I'm going to, I really want to, especially because it's on Disney Plus, I'm pretty sure. It should be a part of a hospital. Like if they did a modular hospital, I can see them putting something like this in there, maybe a bit scaled down. What is the doctor? Yeah, that's another thing. What's the face on the machine? Or is that supposed to be a character? Because there's someone literally lying on it. How did this get 10k? Yeah, I don't know. Should have made an entire hospital. I agree. Time zones are weird. Yes. Not for me. Neither. I'm just not. It's gross. Okay. It's not gross, people. Let's have respect for the designers. Ooh, 303. Hello. <laughs> no idea how this got enough votes. Like, what do I even do? Well, here's the thing with this. I'm like, I... I just don't see a demographic for this. I can see maybe medical students or like radiologists and things like that getting really into it and maybe, maybe getting it. It's a cat for a cat scan. I see. Clever. But yeah, I just, are there any Harry Potter projects? You can't do Harry Potter projects because the theme already exists. Same with like Star Wars and stuff like that. It's not gross. It's absolute garbage. Wow. Chunky rouge. <laughs> Chucky. Sorry, I said your name wrong. I thought it was a boat. It's not a boat. I just, yeah. It'd be cool for a medical student, but I don't think that's passing. Motorized lighthouse. I feel like this is very similar to the castle, but I just don't think the demand is there like a castle. Like, I think this model looks brilliant. Again, it's very, very big. 
Like this is, this is large. Yeah, I want to, Lily, I want to start doing like build streams at like both times a day and like kind of alternating. Like the stream, everyone. Yeah, good idea, Tommy. This is cool, but a bit boring. I like it. But yeah, I guess it is kind of boring. I mean, it's a lighthouse. How exciting can you really get? But like we haven't, ugh, I don't know. Like we haven't gotten a giant lighthouse, but we've gotten lighthouses. And from memory, they haven't sold particularly well. So I, in this case, I feel like the castle, like they seem very similar in kind of concept. Like they're kind of built for sort of an older generation. They're both giant models, but like castles are more appealing than lighthouses to me. But it's a beautiful model. I love the way it looks lit up. I just, I don't know. I don't see a market for this, really. I really don't. The fact that this might get picked terrifies me. Yeah, I buy it. It's motorized. Oh, is it? Maybe. Oh, so that must be why it's so big then, because you've got to fit the motor in it. Well, in that case, then it's going to be even more expensive. The rock work is beautiful. It is. It's very beautiful. If this was a Lego Masters project, they're coming first. <laughs> This would be a mistake if they make it, but city builders would enjoy. But would it fit in with a Lego city? That's my other question. Unless you've like kind of scaled your city up a bit, I don't feel like this would be kind of at the scale, if that makes any sense. I think this one is a possibly. I think it's a possibly too brightest. I do. Claps for the designer, but it probably won't get picked. If it does, I'd be surprised. Yeah, I think it's too big. I really do. It's very, very big. Then again, they've scaled things down before. They've also scaled things up. No, it's micro size. Is it? Oh. The title says motorized. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Lots of bigger cities have the beach area. That's true. As long as it fits in with the scale, I guess, of the city buildings, unless you used force perspective, that would be cool. That would be cool. Next up, we have Avatar, the illuminated world of Pandora. This is really pretty. And I feel like considering Avatar was the biggest and highest grossing film. Actually, no, didn't it come back to being the highest grossing film? I think it did. This is really nice. And like there's Avatars in like the Disney theme parks. I think it's still relatively relevant. They just keep pushing the sequels back. I reckon when the sequels come out, this would then kind of be selected or done. Like, I think that the build is beautiful. I love the colors. I love the techniques. I love the figures. By Bulldozer, the same guy who did Sesame Street. This is beautiful. It really is. It's number one again. What do you mean it's number one now? Oh yeah, I'll oh, write the movie. Duh, I just said that. But Avatar's boring. It's just long. But again, the reason that Avatar was so successful was because it was a very revolutionary movie in terms of 3D. And the 3D gimmick has died down. So I don't know. I mean, look, the concept of Avatar is very cool. I would buy this set. I think that this is beautiful. I think that it's very unique. It would also work really nicely in a, um, in a Disney world. Set, beautiful movie. I mean, fair. I feel like this will get selected because it has a new movie coming out, but is that's going to be delayed again, though, isn't it? That's the thing. This is a dust disaster that, yeah, actually, that would be a very big range of dust. But it's really pretty. No worries, Asian. I hope you have a good sleep. Oh, actually, Asian, well, you should stay up for like 20 more minutes. And then as soon as it hits like 11, when I can reveal what won, then shut the stream off. Big brain. <laughs> I've never seen it before. Really? I don't think it will happen, even though it's gorgeous. It was a decade ago and doesn't seem to have a passionate fan base. That is very true. The fan base isn't passionate. It's still kind of relevant to a degree. But yeah, the, the passion, I agree with you, Ali. It's, it's not really there. Are there light bricks in this set? I'm not entirely sure. I feel like they have to be. It looks like there's some glow-in-the-dark pieces, but I don't know about um, thingy. That's what I thought too, title. That's what I thought. Wait, so do you know what one won? No, no, not at all. No, 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 no. Next up, we have Spirited Away. I've never seen this movie. I've really wanted to. I just never got around to it. This really hits it kind of, I, it's not really anime, but I feel like it is, or it's as close as it's going to get. Where's Grogu? He, one of them's between my bed and the wall, and the other one's on a shelf. <laughs> Whoopsies. It's 
Spirited Away is way too big. It does look very big. I feel like it would be better done as a playscale set, personally, if they ever did it. Never heard of it. That's what I feel like. I feel like it's popular, but it's not well known, if that makes any sense. You've never seen Spirited Away? I know it's on Netflix. I just haven't gotten around to it. Hey, Jedi Bob. Grogu Rescue Time, is it? Okay. Hey, buddy. Here we go. Here he is. Welcome. Yeah, Studio Ghibli is amazing. Honestly. Ow. You know what I can see happening with this, though? Is I can see, like, a knockoff company buying the rights to this, making it, and then selling it at the Studio Ghibli Museum in Japan. I'm saying it right now. I personally don't think that Lego will ever touch sort of like anime or Japanese animation with a 10 foot pole. I don't think that that's happening. Um, I don't know why they wouldn't. I feel like it's just because it's, I guess it's too segregated of a market for them or like um, too niche, I feel like, even though it's it's not really at the end of the day. Um, what would Grogu pick? We'll show him at the end and then he, will, he can pick one. Um, Star Wars is doing an anime show, so Lego could do sets to that. I don't even think they would do sets for that, to be honest. We have to speed up. Oh yeah, we're not even halfway through. All right, Jumanji. Love the movie. Again, don't necessarily think it's relevant. This looks cool, but I don't think you can capture Jumanji without having all of like the little areas throughout the movie where chaos happens. And honestly, I think a board game layout would have been better for Jumanji, personally. Needs the board? Exactly. Nope. Yep. This set has a small chance. So do I think it does too. I think it looks beautiful for what it is, but I just don't think it works well as a concept for Jumanji. But it looks really pretty. Can't see it. Get in it. <laughs> yes, Jumanji. Lego did Voltron, which is anime. Okay, I didn't know that Voltron was anime. Damn, I didn't know that. Thank you, Cat. Nope, I want this. It could be a series, possibly. There's an actual Jumanji game sold by Target. See, th if they did something like that, that would be cool. That would be cool. Oh, do you actually, Francis? Oh, that's a shame. <laughs> if they did Jumanji sets, it has to be based off the new ones. Exactly, that's the problem. Like, they're not going to go back and do the old ones like they used to with other stuff. Little Venice. This looks like too... It looks like an architecture set and a modular had a child. This is what we have. I really like it. It's very pretty. It's just not going to happen. Architecture is a theme. Create Air Expert is a theme. I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately, but I love this. If I could pick one, this would be up there. Dang, that looks really good. I know, Isaac, doesn't it? Just. This is beautiful. I know. Pass. Really? Really, Chris. Chrissa. The detail. I know. Spider-Man Far From Home. They should have done a set like this for that. Way too adult. I mean, but isn't that what ideas is these days, though? Honestly. It sucks. Because they keep saying play features, but that doesn't really matter, does it? It's more just like feature. <laughs> Gimmick. Hey, Adita. Who's the part of the poor gang? <laughs> Ripped all of the sets that fit into themes that LEGO already has. Honestly, if I was a LEGO designer, no, if I was like making an idea set, I would not do a modular. I wouldn't do anything architecture themed. No, they will make it themselves, if anything. I just want Wallace and Gromit. Yeah, I can't wait to get to that one. This reminds me of that car that Lego Ideas made and that didn't sell very well and I can't even remember the name of it. It looks cool. I don't think it's happening. <laughs> At all. At all. I don't see Lego Ideas ever really taking a chance on a car like that again. It's not happening. Not happening. How am I? I'm doing alright. I just don't care about cars, TBH. Yeah, I, I kind of do to an extent. One, one a minute? Okay, do I? Aston Martin. Yeah, but that was more stylish, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Next up, we have the automated garbage truck. This is really cool. The fact that it's automated, I love. But this needs to just be a city set. Like, if City released this, I'm buying it. An idea set, I feel like it's kind of a waste of a space to a degree, but I really like the design of this. The concept is amazing. I just ordered the garbage truck getaway. High five! We have that. Where can you see the results on this stream in 11 minutes? 
This is too similar to City. Exactly. Gift with purchase vibes for me. Oh, I didn't think about that. I mean, if you're doing that, though, you wouldn't be able to be motorized if they did that or automated, which I feel like is the big thing with this garbage truck. But... I agree, it's too small for an AD set. If it was 2017, no, it wouldn't. <laughs> These days, no. TX Master Games. I don't know what this is. This, to me, I get that it must be some sort of board game. It looks like it has something to do with jujitsu or karate. I don't recognize any of this at all. Or was this the game that kind of made up his own his own game? It's not, mo it's motorized, it's a crank. Oh, in that case, gift with purchase. How did this get supportive? I don't know. I don't know. It's all two by two tiles. It is this. This just looks like a lot of colors all on a base plate. Like we've, we've got a blue base plate and we've just stuck a bunch of two by two tiles on it. I don't know what I'm looking at, to be honest. Um, this, this ain't happening. Easy as that. Cobra Kai set. I think it's, it's like a, a, a not Cobra Kai set. Um, Milwaukee Art Museum. This is very impressive. Again, architecture exists. Is it gonna happen? Probably not. Um, does it look cool? Yeah. Will I buy it? No. Um, this is so specific. It's so specific that I don't even know what it is. I just know that it's a building. <laughs> I've never heard of this museum. Neither. If you were going to do a museum, surely you would do like popular museum. I mean, I'd say the Smithsonian, but that's very big and spread out. So I don't know. This doesn't even look like Lego. It's really interesting. Honestly, it's a piece of art. I will give it that. The, this model is beautiful. It looks amazing. Does not look like a set at all. I agree. But architecture exists and I just I feel like this thing is unpopular I don't know what it is a lot of you guys don't know what it is it's in Wisconsin I think see T I think <laughs> not enough <laughs> couldn't point it out on a US map it look it's a beautiful model it's a beautiful building is that Hedwig <laughs> no <laughs> great building techniques exactly whoever built this model is very very talented but yeah no 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 Next up, we have the car wash. Again, it's a modular. This reminds me of like those like pop culture restaurants that you'd go to. What's it like Planet Hollywood type of thing or like the Hard Rock Cafe, even though it's a car wash. It looks like the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> Anyone else get in those type of, type of vibes? When's my next Hogwarts micro scale stream? No idea. Did you actually, Lily? How much did that cost you? This seems like something out of Phineas and Ferb. Yes. Buy ideas, modulars. Mm -hmm. Modular, again, crossed off the list. It's very pretty. I agree. I agree, Ender. It really is. It looks like the modular diner set. It does. It's like, it's retro vibe reminds me too much of that. That even if they did ever pick a modular, I just feel like it's too similar. I love the Hard Rock Cafe. Same here, except the food's expensive. But it's great. All right. Let's move on to my personal favorite project, Wallace and Gromit. Now I'm going to be realistic here. I don't think that this set was kind of fine tuned the way it should. I love the fact that you've got the kind of robot from a grand day out, but no one real. I don't think many people care about that. The wrong trousers is a lot more popular. So yeah, okay. I can see them being there. Same with the little chicken and his rubber glove chicken penguin with the rubber glove Sean the sheep those are good additions but honestly if it was just Wallace and Gromit I think this would have a better chance rather than all the additional stuff if I was a Lego designer and this set got picked I would honestly take out the other stuff as much as I would love to see the set complete I would take it out and just have Wallace and Gromit make it a cheaper set I love Wallace and Gromit I I have a connection to this one there's bias here but I also think that Wallace and Gromit has stuck around for quite a while. Like even when uh, um, A Matter of Loaf or Death came out, that was still like really good. They can dial it down. Exactly. I believe it's more popular than Seinfeld. I think it is very, very popular. Like Wallace and Gromit is timeless. It's kind of, it's spread across a lot of generations as well. Like if they can make Curse of the Were-Rabbit in what, 2005? It, it holds. Okay, y'all get... Shush. 
It's too similar to Adventure Time set that sold poorly. I, yeah, I can see how in concept it is very similar. That's why I feel like just Wallace and Gromit. That's it. I don't want minifigures, Wallace and Gromit. I like brick built versions. This is this is cool. This is good brick built. Their movies still make a ton of money. I reckon if they did another um one, then yeah, we'd we'd get a Wallace and Gromit set among us. Straight up, it's not happening. Vader's got rejected. Same thing with this one. It's like it got rejected last time. It's not happening. I don't think the builders is good either. It's literally about murder. No kind of walking around that. Next, Roman warship. This is kind of cool. I can see them picking it. I don't personally have an interest in it. Um, it's pretty. Honestly, it's a possibility. <laughs> It's a very big possibility. It's very pretty. It's very well designed. I love the fact that it's floating. I love the tigers at the bottom. Beautifully detailed, beautifully designed. I can see that this this is being a thing. Awesome, but not gonna win, really. It's cool, but not for me. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. I wouldn't buy it, but I really like it. That's impressive. I know, right? Bring back the Viking theme. They should. Honestly, Vikings will be a creator line. Five minutes till showtime. We're almost there. How long? Five minutes. Next up, we have the Adams Family Family Mansion. I think the build is too much like a modular. It kind of, this is giving me like Ratatouille syndrome, where I feel like the build is amazing, but this one kind of leans more towards modular. If the Adams Family kind of animated show was about to come out, I can I not show movie was about to come out, I could see them doing this. Um, I don't think this is gonna get picked either. Way too big. Yeah, I would scale it down if I was them. It's already been rejected before, has it? In that case, scroll in past. It's the haunted house. That's true, actually. It's very similar because the haunted house is already out. Yeah, they'd probably reject it because of that. GMC, blue chip, cars, creator expert again. They look pretty. Creator expert have a car line. <laughs> you know what about modulars? Home Alone is coming. That is very true. Then again, I feel like it's more Christmassy than modulars. And lastly, we have the Viking village. Vikings back again back again this all again looks pretty i like the scale of this one a lot better than some of the other sets on here um not for me this i think does have a chance as well but i'm not entirely sure cars aren't just for ideas what <laughs> where's that ucs mater and lightning mcqueen at great question home alone and modular i feel like it's close like it's close to like a modular design but then again, they might shrink it down. All right, let's scroll up to the top. Let's go through our results, everyone. Hold on. Scroll. All right. So, not getting picked. Can you see my cursor? Yes, you can. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Not happening. Hopefully, Bag End, I think, is my favorite next to Wallace and Gromit. Those are my favorites. Grogu, what's your favorite? He said Wallace and Gromit. Not happening, not happening, possibly, not happening, possibly, not happening, 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 possibly, but probably not happening, not happening, possibly, not happening, not happening, possibly. There we go. What are your favorites? What are your favorites? Bag end, please. I hope bag end's happening. Mystery Shack, bag end. Are you getting the Seinfeld set? No, I've never watched Seinfeld. It's not for me. I don't love any of these disappointing. Really? I honestly feel like as a whole, it's a weaker selection than some of the other ones. What happens if Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? That one's in a different one. Bag end, Avatar, Little Venice, The Boat, bag end. Honestly, not a great bunch. Yeah, not really. Did I watch Loki? I did. I loved it. Bag End, Viking Village, Lord of the Rings, Jumanji, Gravity Falls, Gravity Falls, Avatar, Hobbit, Wallace and Gromit, Adam's Family, Bag End, Jumanji, Gromit, Bring Back Lego Hobbit, <laughs> Bag End, Gravity Falls, Bag End. There's so many Bag Ends. Honestly, if they don't do it, I will be shocked. Alrighty, everyone. I know the answer because we got sent it by Lan and I regret looking at the thing because I kind of spoiled it for myself. So I've known this entire time what's getting picked. But honestly, going through them, ideas you can read like a book these days. They're making it an adults only theme line. Like if it appeal if it appeals to someone above the age of 35. No, if it appeals to someone above the age of 40, it's being made into a set. I'm telling you right now. It's happening. 
One minute, it is. Ready? <laughs> Ready? What is it? We're not gonna watch the reveal video. I'm just gonna click, I made these little slides. <laughs> what do we think it is? What do we think it is? That's a good deal, Lily. Why would you spoil it for yourself? Because I was stupid and I opened up the document. <laughs> I didn't think. <laughs> I didn't think. It's the final countdown, all the cards. <laughs> I hope the results will be satisfying. Lower your expectations. <laughs> Lower your expectations. Just tell us. Oh, I can now. What won? The lighthouse. Um. Honestly, can we say that we're surprised? Can we say that we're surprised? Oh, wait. I should go to the thing. Ready? One project. One project. Again. Look, there's the rest of them. One project. <sighs> All right. When I saw this, and I saw that it was one project, look, the lighthouse, I can see why they chose it. That Does that mean that I'm, I'm happy? Not really. Um, one project out of 25. Admittedly, this was, in my opinion, a weaker selection that we had. I don't think that this was as strong as kind of all of the other rounds. Haven't they done a lighthouse? They have done many a lighthouse. Many a lighthouse. They really have. Logo sucks sometimes. Yeah. Here's the thing, right? This is how I see it. We're going to put like, we're going to put you down. Okay. With the exception of like Steamboat Willie, Winnie the Pooh, Sesame Street, Everything else recently has been very adult focused. So Lego is trying to like really focus on like their adult range, 18 plus, everything like that. Hello to 550, no, 500, 452 of you. Listen to my thoughts, right? Lego is really trying to push this adults only theme. I have an idea, Angle, Think Ship in a Bottle and they re-released it, so similar theme possibly like they're really trying to go for the adults they don't care about their sort of kid demographic here they don't care about their teenage demographic I don't even think they really care about their young adult demographic like my demographic like 20 year olds I don't think that they really care I'm not an adult but I'm not a geriatric <laughs> well no age <laughs> just fair enough like Look, Bag End would have had to surely be some sort of licensing thing and or they know it's popular and they're going to do it on their own. Like this to me is too big. Do you want to let me read the article that they that they provided? Let me read it to you. OK. So they said so a roses must build Sandro. Congratulations to him. His Motor Eyes Lighthouse recreation has been selected as the next LEGO Ideas set. Sandro's Lighthouse is a timeless beacon that evokes a sense of adventure and mystery. To top it off, the LEGO group has never created one with such incredible details at such a scale. So they liked it because of how detailed and giant it was. So... There's that. They liked it because it was giant. Which screams to me that this is going to cost like $400. This is going to be a very, very expensive set. I personally don't see it selling that well. I think it's very pretty. Don't get me wrong. I do think it is very, very pretty. Actually, yeah, CC, I think 300 is a lot more likely. 20-year-olds end up have disposable income too. Do 20-year-olds really have disposable income? We can't buy houses. <laughs> I get what you're saying, Sai. I feel this is very much a, I'm a 40 year old and over, I'm going to buy this set. I don't see anyone around my age really being a part of this, unless they're really into like sailing or something like that. Make it a Scooby-Doo lighthouse set that I can get behind. Also, how well do like regular play set lighthouses scale? There is Baba Yaga. That's in the next one. Yikes. That one scares me. <laughs> The Mystery Shack would have sold well. I feel like it would have sold well. I don't know how amazing. I wanted the castle. 
I really, I wanted the castle or Bag End. Bag End I knew was a stretch. Look, from the get-go, I knew that that was a stretch. But the castle, that would have sold well. That would have sold really well. I want Bag End, I'm so sad. I know. Those New England sailing pigs would love this. They probably would. Again, one ideas project. I mean, we're supposed to be expanding. <laughs> we're supposed to be going up, not down. Um, <laughs> why they only picked one? Look, last... Last time we had more projects. It was a record-breaking one and we picked one and now we've picked one again. Maybe they're saving it up for the next one. That's all I can hope. We did just get a creator castle. That's what I think as well. It's like, I think the creator line kind of doomed us in that regard. Can we look at Bag End again? <laughs> Let me go find it. Do -do -do. There it is. Like, just, just, just look at that. We missed out on that. <sighs> Good night, Adida. Still excited for Sonic? Yeah, I'm excited for Sonic. But like, again, it's like, they say play features, they just mean features or gimmicks at this point. Like, look at the typewriter. Like, you can type. That's cool. Piano. Oh, yeah, you can play it. The lighthouse, it spins around. It's motorized. It's got the feature. But I really think they need to kind of rethink the words that they kind of put on here um yeah I'm just I I see why they picked it I don't I'm not gonna buy it <laughs> I'm interested to see how it kind of looks but yeah I just I don't see that happening it's a cool concept but as an 18 year old I think of so many more sets I would rather buy for the price exactly like this is going to be expensive yeah no <laughs> Like as always, they're picking the stuff that no one wants. I feel like like there is. I feel like there would be people interested in this. I just don't think there's going to be that many people interested in this. Who even has room for that? Yeah, that's true. You're going to need a really like a tall, a tall shelf. Maybe you'll get it from Lando. Not after them hearing that I don't. I'm not interested. You know what they'll do? They'll give it to like all of the bloggers that are like older. <laughs> Same people they handed the typewriter to. That's what will happen. Will you buy Sonic? Not a set for me. The price point of ideas sets is, is escalating pretty rapidly. It is, and it's all becoming adult sets. Where's something for everyone? Winnie the Pooh was the last one. I say last one, that one was recent. But like Winnie the Pooh appealed to a wide range of ages. Typewriter, adult. Piano, adult. Blacksmith shop, a bit better. Heading a bit down. Sesame Street, yeah, all ages, but it was built very adult-like. Like he said, I didn't get the typewriter for a review. Are you going to buy that one, CC? Or get it through, like, land support or something? Are you planning on getting it? I can only imagine how big Lego things our houses are. That's another thing. If we keep doing big sets, we're going to have less space to buy more sets. If we make the sets cheaper and smaller, then we can buy more sets. Pfft, wow. I mean, maybe their kind of profit margins are not that big. But also keep in mind, this is an idea set. That uh, just reminded me. So, like, you're going to have to pay for the designer. You're going to have to pay the designer, give them their, like, percentage. Good idea, Cece. That's what I would do if I was you. See, it makes sense why it was chosen for me, Aisha. 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 But I don't agree. Not for me. I'm so sad. Yeah, so yeah. Should I buy the newest Lego X-Wing for 60 bucks? I really liked the X-Wing. Yeah, so yeah, Lily, I would do it. I would. Well, anyway, everyone. You should all support my ideas project. <laughs> it's based on Monsters, Inc. It is a giant door. And then on the inside, we have scenes from the movie. I, I want to add something to it or like slightly modify it, but I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So if you haven't supported it already please click the link at the top of the chat and, and support my project. I'm really excited. Um, Jamae typewriter bill stream. What? Oh, I'm not getting the typewriter. Otherwise, yeah, I would agree, I'd agree to that, but I'm not going to get it. So yeah, if you want to support my project so that hopefully it can get to a review round and hopefully I could get mine selected and then we can add it next to like Winnie the Pooh and Steamboat Willie and Wally and all of that. So please click that link and support my project. We need 6,000 more people and then it will hit 10k. 
How much will this be for sale? The Lighthouse, I reckon 300 my set. I think this would be like a $100 or $80 set based on its piece count. It's got 777 pieces. There's no point in supporting it because it won't get picked. That's not the right attitude to have. We want optimism. I say that I've been the least optimistic person in the world this last month. But yeah, you should support my project. I did the big feet. Look, if it becomes real, maybe we could get custom molds like the ones that you're looking right here. If it doesn't, we'll never know. We'll never know. Just a flu of kick, people. That's it. Did you put your project on Reddit and TikTok? I haven't done TikTok yet, actually. I've been thinking about that. I want to get back onto TikTok and get posting and want to do that. I did put it on Reddit, though, and um, there was a lot of rude people. So I deleted it. <laughs> I just, I was not in the mood to look at that. Hopefully it'll be in a... <laughs> I mean, true, Ali. It makes the chances more likely. Just a bit. Make the door motorized and then it can get picked. That's true. I got to add like some sort of like dramatic play feature. I'll change the build so you can open the door. <laughs> then we'll get picked instantly. Reddit is toxic as I know. Except my subreddit, which you should also join. The link's in the description. Anyway, everyone, thanks for hanging out with me and talking through all of the ideas projects. I want to do a build stream at this time of night sometime. When? I don't know. LegoCon is also on this weekend and I will be live streaming the entire thing or as much as I can stay up for. So we're going to have a pajama party. Do you have more pictures of my Monsters Inc. project? Why? I thought you'd never ask. Hold on, let me find one. <laughs> Where is it? They're all on my desktop and right now I can't really see. Door back. There we go. There's the other side of it. <gasps> wow, look at that. Amazing, that's why you should suggest it. So yes, pajama party for Lego Con on the 26th. It will be 2 a.m. for me, I'm pretty sure it starts at. So I'm gonna have a coffee, we're gonna relax, Grogu's gonna chill with us. We'll just sit back and watch, have a fun time. Garbage truck stream soon. I think I'm gonna do that one before the Pizza Planet truck. That might be the next one. 99% um, of chat was on very good behavior. Congrats chat for being nice. Also, I was saying this, um, on my gaming channel. I'm thinking about making a Discord server soon. I don't know when that's gonna happen. I don't know if that will actually happen, but it's been something I'm thinking of as well, but I will kind of let you all know in a stream when that's gonna happen. European time, yeah. the next stream will be LegoCon, which will be on European time and US time. Won't be on Australian time. <laughs> Sucks to be me. And then um, we will do a build stream sometime at this at this time of night. So I'm very, very excited. Have a great time today, everyone. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great night. What time would that be, US? I have no idea. <laughs> I'll look it up and I'll put it on the I'll put it on the um the community tab. Can you do a summary of the approved sets? Oh, it's very easy. Lighthouse. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> took me a really long time to summarize that. Whew, just took too long. Gonna go cry. Fair enough. <laughs> See you, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm going to go to bed now, or at least try and go to bed. <laughs> Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. There won't be a video. This counts as my, like, video today. Maybe I'll put one up later. We'll see. See you guys. Oh, I loved Luca the Star. It was amazing. It was a lot of fun. Bye, everyone. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, Cameron. Bye, Jay. Bye, Sophie. Bye, David. Bye, Melissa. Bye, Johnny. Bye, Aisha. Studs. Adam. Nugget. Lego. Habit. A bricking. Fluffy face. Title. Jedi Bob superhero. See you all later. Bye. Henry, Alice, Brayden, Cloven. I can't do this forever. I'm going to end the stream now. Bye, Lily. Bye, Red Joe. Bye, Joe. Ali, Kia Kiara.